how to use Discord for beginners on your phone. Now, it's actually super easy, but it may look a bit confusing for some people at first. Uh, but basically, all you want to do is um, open up the Discord app, create an account, and you'll end up right here. Now, um, I have these friends and er, I currently have two pending friend requests as well. Now, to add friends, you want to click on this friend uh, button at the bottom. Then you just click on the plus icon right there and you can um, yeah, fill in their username plus the hashtag right there and then the code. Uh, so you can add a friend via that. Um, you can also search for uh, conversations or servers. And right here is just uh, recent mentions for in servers. Uh, at the bottom right, you will have your settings and all of that. Now, once you're here, you can have conversations with these friends if you have uh, friends on uh, Discord. And I currently have this one server. This is my server. And I'm going to show you guys how to join and create a server in a bit too. But this is basically a server. There's uh, currently only two channels. There can be really big servers with a lot of channels and roles and all of that. Um, but you can just type in the general chat. And this is a voice channel you can join if you want to. And now to, um, yeah, to create or join a server, what you want to do is click on the plus icon right there. And at the top, um, you can create, you can, yeah, you can click on create my own server or click on join a server. Now, right here, you have to fill in the um, invite link. Now, you cannot really join or search for a server. Um, only really big servers uh, have that. But like regular servers of your friends, you can not really like search for them. They'll actually have to send you a uh, invite link. So um, yeah, you have to fill in this right here and then you can click on join server. Um, so that's how you can join the server. Now to create one, you can just click on create my own or this is actually pretty new, I think. You can also start from a template. So let's say I would want to choose uh, a gaming, uh, if I want to create a gaming server. Then I can just click on gaming and then for a club or community or for me and my friends, just going to select for me and my friends. And then just, yeah, this is this this name is fine. You can also add uh, a, a yeah, server icon right there. And then you can just click on create server. Now you can also immediately invite people, but I'm not, not gonna do that though. But as you can see right here, this is just a quick template. Um, of your server and then it's, it's yeah a setup process right here you can invite your friends upload a server icon send your first message and all of that you can add a new voice channel by just clicking on the plus icon right there and you can add a voice channel like this uh, you can also or that's a text channel actually uh, you can also add a voice channel by clicking on here and then giving it a name um, and that's kind of it I know I'm going kind of fast through all of it, but it's just not really that hard. You can just, yeah, figure it out on your own. Pretty easy. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. Maybe a la one last thing to invite your friends. You can click on the three dots right there. Then click on invite. Now right here, you can invite your Discord friends, but what you can also do is send the Discord link of your server to uh, on other like social media and stuff like that. So what you can do is copy this link and that's fine. But as you can see, it will expire in one day. Now to yeah make an infinite logo, you want to click on this gear icon and then where it says expires after, just select never. And then just click on save and then copy the link. And now this, will, this link will never be expired. So you can just put that in your Instagram bio or something like that. So people can join or always join your server and stuff like that. So that is actually kind of it. Um, I hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it worked. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.